Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning Marine. This is a special topics video when I'm going to cover installing a harmonic balancer on the front of a small block Chevrolet. So in order to do this or do it properly, you need what's called a harmonic balancer installation tool. And uh, this is a part from I bought from O'Reilly's harmonic balancer installer. It's part number 67006. And to use this tool, you first find an adapter that threads into the front of your crankshaft. And uh, I've, already, I've already done this once. I know this is the right one. So you, that's, you just check the threads to make sure that fits. And you take it back over here and you assemble it with this system. So this, this rod here goes, this rod goes in the end of there. And then you put the adapter I just had in here and thread it in. Let me do this right. So there it goes like that. All right, you assemble the adapter, the the, uh, the metal bolt, the long bolt, and this uh, outer uh, threaded rod, threaded, whatever you want to call it, sleeve. And then you insert this into your crankshaft, or you thread it into your crankshaft. And you, take, you go ahead and thread it all the way down. I may have to use a tool to get to go the rest of the way. I think I am. So this a little bit on me. No, here we go. Just going. All right, so now once the tool's installed, then you put your harmonic balancer on. And then with the harmonic balancer on the uh, on there, you put this tool here. You put the flat, it's got a flat side and a bearing side. You put the flat side against your harmonic balancer. And then you have this big, this large nut and you thread that on. And the nut presses on the bearing in which the bearing then pushes on the harmonic balancer and it pulls it on. I now have the harmonic balancer installer tool uh, installed and it is pulling this harmonic balancer onto the front of the engine. I put a few drops on the uh, outside of the harmonic balancer um, sleeve and also on the inside where the crankshaft would fit. So I loomed it up a little bit so it would go into the seal. So I'm going to use this tool to pull it all the way on. All right, as I was tightening up this harmonic balancer, it got really tight. The tool got really tight and hard to turn, so I know that the harmonic balancer bottomed out. So in this particular, this doesn't always happen, but in this particular harmonic balancer installation, this is a timing cover, stamp steel timing cover that I bought aftermarket and uh, it didn't come with this engine. And when I had this on the first time, the timing cover was rubbing against the back of this uh, balancer. So I had to take the cover off and uh, hammer. Um, actually, I didn't take the cover, I just hammered it from the front. So I hammered uh, dents in the front of the cover to clear this, the back of this harmonic balancer. And it seems to have worked, so I don't see any, it's not touching. It's very, very close now, I don't even see that. But. Yeah, it's no longer touching. It's real close though. But so it looks like that worked. So the harmonic balancer is now installed and I'm about to remove this tool. So sometimes, or actually probably every time, you have to have a counter wrench. So as I was turning the uh, this big nut with a crescent wrench, I have I was holding this back the back side of this with a 9/16 counter wrench because it was trying to rotate this tool uh, instead of pulling the thing on. So it's now the harmonic balancer is now on. I'm going to take the tool off, put it up, and move on to the next task. Thanks for watching. If you found this video beneficial, please subscribe to my channel.